Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and today we have this, a 1995 Ducati 900 Super Sport CR. A 1995 Ducati 900 Super Sport CR with only 12,693 miles. How do you know that mileage is accurate, Dave? Well, because I've owned this bike probably 12 years. Like most of my bikes. So here, so let me show you something. This is the debate. It's, it's not a debate that I'm having, but you might have an opinion. Here we got my file on that bike. Here's my receipts. Now back then, I wasn't servicing my own Ducatis. Bar harness, red. I don't know what that is. 2014. Caliper seal kits. I wanna look up when the belts were done. Here we go. Valve adjustment, new belts. Six, six, 2014 with 12,688 miles on it. So I think that's like, we went three miles, four miles in 10 years. And all that happened was those belts sat in the bike in a conditioned airspace, no heat cycles, not a whole lot of tension. Barely any different than if they were sitting on the shelf. Yet you belt bulls are gonna say, you better change those belts, and yeah, they're recommended. And thankfully, belts on the Panta motors aren't hard to do, and you don't have to do valves again, because they ain't gonna change adjustment. So that begins the debate. Do belts go bad just sitting? not even riding, not exposed to the weather, not exposed to extreme changes in temperature even. Sh must you change those belts? That's your call. I know I'm gonna get both sides of the story, so you can answer that in the comments. I think it'll be interesting. I always liked these Kajiva era Ducatis. Now, Kajiva, one of the Castiglione brothers, if, I, if I'm saying that correctly, he dates back to Aramaki Harley Davidson. And he bought, or they bought, the, the Ducati name, I think in 1985. Later, they would sell the brand to the Texas Pacific Group in uh, 96 after building the brand with this bike the SP and the Ducati Monster these they're three of my favorite Ducatis all from this era now the Castiglione brothers, and I know I'm butchering that, they also bought Moto Marini and uh, not Benelli, Husqvarna. Yeah, they had Husqvarna for a while. Moto Marini and Benelli, they're now Chinese. And Ducati is owned by Audi. This is a 
This is a 900 cc. I guess they call that an L twin. They called this the Pantomotor. It's a two valve head and it's air cooled. Yes, it has an oil cooler that cools the oil, but not the engine. The head is air cooled. The cylinders are air cooled. It's six speed. So they made this and its brethren, the SP or sport production. This is the CR, which is the cafe racer. Now the sport production got adjustable showas up front. This has non-adjustable showas up front and I have an adjustable show in the rear. The sport production got an aluminum swing arm, which they're prone to crack. So I think I'd prefer the CR, except you got to get 1995 or older because later they got rid of the Showa front forks and went to Marzuki. Non-rebuildable. Couldn't take out the cartridges, couldn't clean the valving. Oh, you could replace the seals and change the oil and that's about it. Oh. The SP had a full fairing. The SP had cast iron full floater front brakes. I think these are stainless. This is a fixed rear caliper. See it fixed there at the swing arm. The SP got a floating rear caliper. Probably some other stuff. There's a lot of good information on these on the DucatiTech.com forum. And you gotta go back a couple of years when these were in discussion. But let me read a quote. It says this. Friends don't let friends buy 1996 and newer CRs. You can't put race tech gold valves in them to fix their feeble damping. And they're talking about the Marzuki fronts. You can't clean out the valving internals like you can on every other motorcycle on earth. And that's a direct quote. You can change the oil seals, but you cannot remove the cartridge to properly clean it or revalve it. It says, friends don't let friends drive 1996 or newer Ducati 900 Super Sport CRs. So I'd still rather have a CR over an SP as long as my CR was 1995 or older. You can always change the front forks if you want adjustable front forks. I don't need a cracking aluminum swing arm. I don't care about full floater rear disc brakes. I like to see the engine. It's a dry speed, uh, it's a dry clutch, six speed transmission. So it's gonna make a lot of noise when we start it. And if Inga was here, she'd be freaking out. But Inga's not here anymore. She passed away about two weeks ago. So I don't know what to say about that. Let's hear this thing go. It's got a choke here.
Oh, look at those crazy mirrors. Still crazy. So the seating position is actually not bad for a sport bike. It's tolerable. Even for a 60 year old. I mean, obviously at 60, I prefer a monster. But it's okay. Turn signal's working. Got to get my hips adjusted. I bought these tires new, I don't know, shortly after I got the bike. There's three miles on them. Same with the belts and valves. They were done when I got the bike, and then I parked it. It sat in my air-conditioned basement for most of that time. And then in my shop, which is also air-conditioned, but I think you're gonna be okay for this short trip here. If not, it'll make a good video. And I'll be walking. So I flushed all the brake systems. I had to replace the clutch master cylinder, clean out the slave cylinder. So the hydraulics are working, the valves were adjusted, the belts are old, but they got no miles on them. And I'll tell you, if belts go bad, sitting in an air conditioned room on, with no miles and no heat cycles, then they're gonna go bad sitting on the shelf at the Ducati dealer. And I don't know any Ducati dealer that throws their belts out as soon as they have an expiration code on the box. There's no expiration code on the box. I bought belts from Ducati dealers and I know they might have been five years old or more. So I don't know, that's your call. We're gonna go. These bikes always feel fast. Now 85 horsepower, I don't know, maybe 420 pounds wet. Not real exciting specs, but they sure feel exciting. With a 9,000 red line on an air-cooled two-valve V-twin. Whoa, look at that. He turned left in front of that guy. So here's why I like this. Here we go, we're in second. We're just gonna go. And I can't go crazy, but you've seen me do it before. These Ducatis pull like a tank, and that's what makes them real exciting. So if you want a little bit more of a sporting ride, you don't need the flat bars of a Ducati Monster. You want something that's a little more trouble free, a little less pricey and a less, less finicky than an SP. Consider a CR. All right, 
I can't go crazy by my shop. I don't want to get cops visiting me. I don't need a reputation. That's my 900 CR story. <laughs>